said a Quebec whiskey. Yeah, you're also 5.9 plus 20 into the UK this afternoon. 73s and good DX. Thank you very much. 73, Echo 74 Alpha. Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So I recently ordered one of these one-to-one -one balance from AliExpress to see how well they worked and if I could make a dipole antenna quickly using one of these. This particular ballon is a one-to-one -one rod ballon, meaning inside here is a ferrite rod with a specific design on windings to create a one-to-one -one ballon, balanced to unbalanced. Now power rating on this one is 500 watts with a supported frequency range of between one and 50 megahertz. A low SWR is achievable with the desired band when using the correct length of wire for each of the legs. Incidentally, as well as making a dipole style antenna, you could use this as the center part of a driven element of a Yagi. The ballon is completely sealed, watertight sealed, so it can be used as a temporary installation or permanent. Now either side of this ballon, we find two wing nuts. Now this is where you would attach your antenna wire. On the top, we find a wing style loop connector, which can be used as an anchor point to support the ballon either a support wire or even a center support mast if using like as an inverted V. The unbalanced side of the ballon is terminated with a 50 ohm SO239 connector. Now this makes it easy to connect to your coax feeder. So for today's test, I'm going to cut some wires for the 17 meter band, that's 18 megahertz. And then I'm gonna compare it against the 40 meter NFED half wave main antenna. So I've got a couple of options with wire to use i can either use this ultra thin wire that i got from soda beams it is very good wire and it is very strong however i think with this in the middle it's going to be quite heavy so if i've got enough of it i'm going to use this which is 1.5 millimeter pvc coated so we need uh 394 centimeters for each leg so if we just call that four meters for each leg i'll just measure some of that out so the first thing i want to do is measure a meter So here's my two ends and uh, yeah, we need to snip them now and then attach them to the ballon. I'm going to take this off <coughs> because I'm not going to support it with that, but it will um, reduce the weight as well. Because I think I'm going to try it as a sloper, first of all. I'm not going to bother with any ring terminals. If this was going to be a permanent install, I probably would, um, you know, use use like ring terminals on here. But this this is only temporary, just to just to test, really, just to test kind of how well this uh, rod ballon works. Like I said, it's just temporary, just so we can test. Hopefully there's some activity on 17 metres by the time I get this up. Okay. So the idea is, is that it will be sort of hanging like that at a slope and then we'll attach the coax there. So we now need to go and sort the coax out. There we go. And then this will just fit into here. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. 
So one end I've got just tied off to the rope. Now this is temporary, don't forget. I know my knot skills are not very good. I should really go and watch that DX Commander video on knots. Uh, I think I'm gonna go and do that. But this is temporary anyway. Um, I need to think of, oh, if I'm gonna use this permanently, then obviously I'd need to um, have a proper uh, insulator here, especially if this, uh, if the cable, um, if the cord gets wet. Uh, anyway, that kind of goes up to a little hook up there, which will, like a U-hook, um, that will allow me to pull it up to the house. And then the other end, literally, goes down the garden. Um, some nice grass, and then I'm gonna tie it off over there somewhere. So let me just do that and I'll show you. So there we go. It's not very high. It looks high there. But uh, off the ground, it's not. So there's the join. And, uh, maybe eight foot, maybe, off the ground. And then kind of goes down the sloper to this extremely bendy. Well, I mean, that's not a budget and fix it job, is it? <laughs> But it's it'll do for testing it, I think. Um, yeah. Mm. Right, let's go and have a look on the analyzer. So the analyzer shows that the lowest SWR point is around 17.3 megahertz. So the antenna is actually too long. Now we did expect this as we cut the legs slightly longer than needed. However, the SWR across the whole of the 17 meter band doesn't go above 1.6. So it's still quite usable without the need to adjust it. Well, it's the next day. And as you probably would have guessed, the budget and fix it solution for the end support didn't work out too well. So today I installed it correctly and in more of a dipole configuration as opposed to being a sloper. Now the SWR did change slightly with raising the wire and that's kind of expected. Now if this was going to be a permanent installation, then I would fine tune the wire and use proper dog bone insulators at the end of each leg. Now, I would definitely recommend that, even if you're using it as a temporary insulation, just so that you don't get any effect from the supporting cord. Okay, so this is the end fed half wave. Now I'll switch it to the dipole. End fed. Dipole. Wow. That makes a massive difference. End fed half wave. He's not doing very long overs, that guy, so it's very difficult to quickly switch it while he's talking. Fed. That's the dipole. Well, there we go. That's the one-to-one -one rod ballon. And if you're interested in trying one of these, then I'll leave a link in the description. Now, they are pretty cheap and well worth the money if you want to experiment with antennas and dipoles, etc. 
Now, as the conditions for 10 meters are pretty good at the moment, I'm going to go and shorten these wires and see how well it works on 10. Maybe I'll catch you on there. Until the next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.